Around the home after dark. Tim Kalisha, Pablo Torre, George Adano. I like what I'm seeing behind you, Tim. You got a lot of memorabilia. What's yeah. uh take us take us on a tour of something you got? Some some piece of uh memorabilia. Well, you can see you like. John McEnroe serving to Yvonne Lendl right over my shoulder there at the US Open. That's a Leroy Neiman print. Uh the rest of it's mostly books and things, but let me let me just tell you this. I have a relative who I don't get to spend near enough time with. Yeah. He's not a sports fan at all, but he knows what I do. And he tells me a couple months ago, hey, I was at an auction and I bought some baseball cards. I thought I'd send them to you to see if you want them. And so I'm thinking I'm going to get some kind of garbage baseball cards. The mail arrives. Here comes a 1960 Hank Aaron. Hold Start it up over your face. Come on. Let, let's act like we've done this before. Hold it up over your face. Tip it down. Oh. Knock the glare down. See Bob Clemente, 1960 <laughs> Willie Mays, wow. 1960 Frank Robinson, 1960 Roger Maris, oh, 1960 holy Brooks holy. Robinson. That's a oh, college oh, fund. Yeah. Condition. Those are. Hold up that Roger cover. Maris again. My father's favorite player, Roger Maris, and he's got that buzz cut. And is it showing some of the biceps or the triceps? No, Maris just, always wore that, that jersey he's, high. He's up close. Hold it up he's, your face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. There that's real. Go. Cool. That, that's more than I was expecting, honestly. Real good. Pablo, you have any memorabilia there? Yeah, I can beat Tim at the Antiques Roadshow here by giving you seven episodes on DVD of the Mike Woodson show. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, mute, 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 mute. We know why you have those, because you were on those episodes, right? You were, you, were, you were interviewing Mike Woodson? I was interviewing Mike Woodson, and I borrow I borrowed this from the Knicks PR department, which may explain how the Knicks PR department has treated me ever since. By the way, oh, now this that I think is about so it. great. This was a seven episode tour. You were in your twenties, right? And you were trying to gauge how to do an interview on TV, right? You were trying to study up on it. If anyone has a DVD player, by the way, I actually am curious <laughs> as to what Tom is. But the goatee is definitely right, strong. All right, it's yes. so very sinister. So it's it's the, it, we are in <laughs> we are in the darkest tar timeline right now. So it's very evil uh, bed. <laughs> Troy, uh, George Adano, save us, save save Pablo. All right, I'm gonna have to get up for this to get my prop because it's uh, rather right. large. Oh, okay, right. oh my goodness. Okay, go back here. Look at that! Look, look at the signage <laughs> behind him. <laughs> He's like a magician. <laughs> what in the world's going on back here? <laughs> so this is. A Tom Brady what? signed jersey that I bought at an auction in 2002, the Miami Heat Family Fest. Tom Brady donated to their charity a signed jersey after his first Super Bowl. And I bought this thing for like 500 bucks. And my guess is it's worth a lot more now. So what that's it. Wow. I, more I don't know. I mean, I thought you were a Dolphins fan, George. What is that about? I was, but I, I'm not a dummy. I knew how good he did. I, I felt like he'd be pretty good. Right? Oh, course, yeah, yeah. Good. I mean, we always talk about what is this worth now? Like, you ever traded in your cards for any monetary value or any type of – has anyone ever made money off memorabilia on, the, on this around the home? No, I haven't. Absolutely. But, but it, it is a good conversation piece. And I can say I bought this jersey for 500 bucks, and if I looked it up, I bet you it's worth 10 times that. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much for opening your homes to us. That is the most obnoxious signage behind you, George, by the way. Honestly. Hey, I got to shout out the radio station. No, baby. it's Come that's on. like wearing the name of the band you're seeing in concerts t-shirt to the concert. That's what you're doing right here. <laughs> Ron Artest, after winning the championship in, 20, in 2010, wore his jersey around L.A. while he was part Because he's Ron Artest, all right? Oh, Everybody. Say oh, Queensbridge. We're getting out of here. Queensbridge Queen around Bridge. the home after dark. See you guys. Love you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.